Hey, it's time for Off the Hook Sailing. When your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life. Doubt is overnight, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. How much confidence Nutty has in my fish catching abilities. He says we're gonna do some fishing for some mahi or trolling mahi. We're out here doing it now. But just uh, my usual. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what are you saying about me? Oh, I'm just saying how you have so much confidence in my fishing abilities, we're thawing out some steaks. Ah. <laughs> Come on, fishies, prove her wrong, man. Come that on. Was, that was before I knew we were coming out to go fishing here. Yeah, right. All I know is the fish god's got a smile upon t Dog just once. Come on, Bubba, let's go. Here's how it works. If I don't take anything out for dinner, we won't get anything. But if I take out meat for dinner, then we're gonna catch lots of fish. Ah, okay, so you took out the meat so we could catch fish. Yes. All yes. right, good thinking. Just, I don't like, know. just like taking your umbrella so that it doesn't rain. Ah, okay. You know? All right, I appreciate the support. That's all good now. Now much, I feel much better. It's time to catch a fish. So we're gonna need a gas. You want me to back with the jib or anything? You want me to knock it in the head before we even bring it on the boat? I'm wondering if uh, we even need the gas or just the net. Well, we'll get them. It could be a sterile mackerel. Remember those? Yeah, it's in that hole. Yeah. Get them off of there. Yeah. This thing? Uh, no, no, no. What the gap? You're not answering me. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try to keep him alive. It's okay if you don't know. You want me to stun him and then... Oh, we're not killing him. We're going to let him go. What are you doing? have a red bull just before I catch my sixth barracuda <laughs> as they chew up all my mahi rigs. It's not funny. And your pliers. Oh my god, I broke my needle nose. Jesus criminy. On the barracuda's jaw. Ah oh, man, what's with these people? Come on, I want a mahi. Calling all mahi. I don't care. Something edible. I want a cereal mackerel. Or a cereal mackerel. I'll take, I'll take some fried chicken. I'll take, uh, I want uh, unlimited rolls and peanuts and sweet tea. But instead I get barracuda. This is bull crap. Happens when you uh, try to twist a uh, hook out of a uh, huge barracuda's mouth. And I don't know, I mean, it's not rust. I guess that was the wrong thing to be using. Lesson learned, man. It's time for Chef Tay Dog. A JPB sandwich is like a PBJ sandwich, but it's not. It's jelly and peanut butter because you should spread the jelly first and then be able to clean that knife off really good before you dip it in the peanut butter. You guys have it all backwards. Almond butter, but it's just all oily. When you get all oily, I mean, that's just laziness from the factory. You know, why does it have to separate? Give me a break. Anyway, so we're gonna fix that. And it's best to do this trick when your wife or your captain's not around or if they're already upset with you. What you need is a coat hanger, some rusty pliers, and some rusty dykes, or AKA wire snips or Whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Let's see, we'll try this. We're making a Tay Dog Benford 1000 stirring mechanism. There you go. Look at that bad boy, huh? Well, now you know what I'm talking about. Take this oily, crappy-ass peanut butter 
and it's time to stir. Get your rusty tools out of the way. Working it deeper and deeper and deeper until she gets all mixed up. And it's starting to get thicker and thicker. Make sure you hold on to this jar tight. Anyway, a little oily still. I could go on and on and on, but I'm hungry. I want my sandwich now. You got the idea. Boom, clean knife. Put that in your peanut butter. Our nicely mixed, totally germ-free apple butter and almond butter. See, that's what happens. You always end up leaving a little bit of that on your knife and you put that in your jelly. Pissing off the captain. Anyway. That's how you make a tay dog, JPB. Adios. So as you get too old to be a sailor and you throw your back out half the time, this is what you gotta do to survive out here. That's Captain Nutty. All oh, 110 pounds of it. What? What are you saying about me? 110 pounds, dear. Wet. It's 105. <laughs> but that's, this is how you crack your back when you can't get to a chiropractor. Oh, you're so light, honey. I know. Sorry, I'm <laughs> oh, that. save me. <laughs> and Nutty's doing some trash talking. <laughs> what do you want to educate us about trash? Mm, I was just saying that. See, has got a big rag to throw away over there. Yep, dirty old rag, needs to be thrown away. So what I was telling Steve is that, or Tay Dog, excuse me. Yeah, yeah my stage name. What I was telling Show Tay Dog party. was that um, space is limited on the boat. We don't know when we will find trash receptacles again. So we have to really make all our trash compact. For example, this milk carton, you know, I take the lid off, I flatten it all out, put the lid back on, because if you just throw this in the trash, your trash will be full in three days. I mean, we're going on them probably a week okay. now. This jar right here will take up so much space and I got cans in there. And if I just threw all that in the trash, our trash would be full in no time. So what I do is I will save the jar and then I will throw little things in the jar until it's good and packed. And when it's packed full, I put the lid on it and then I throw it away. So that's how I save space with trash. And that's Trash Talk with trash Captain talk. Nutty. <laughs> <laughs> off the hook sailing at its finest hey everybody try to find the flying fish in this photo i'll show you in a minute Shut the hell up. <laughs> you see the crap I gotta put up with? <laughs> Lower the damn mane, I'll flake it, cause you're the flake.
So we've been having this um, noise in the starboard hull, and we couldn't figure out what the heck it was. And old Captain Nutty came through, and what I guess it is is we have these towels on our on our lifelines on the stanchions lifelines anyway uh so what we think it is is these stanchions really they're in there kind of loose they just have a retaining screw and so with a with a uh, towel on them you have this being knocked around a little more and then that has a knocking noise down in the hole something we've never really heard before partly because i guess we didn't have towels on it usually anyway so uh Noises on a boat. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> hey everybody, Captain Nutty here on Off the Hook Sailing. We chose what we think is one of the handiest non-sailing tools on the boat, and that is our Dyson Stick Vacuum. Uh, we use it multiple times a day. We started with a broom. And then we went to another stick vacuum thing and it seemed like I had multiple tools to do all these different jobs from dusting to vacuuming to whatever. So um, we Steve finally bought this for me. It's a Dyson stick vacuum. We think it's a seven um, and it has different attachments. Right now we have the suction tool here, the crevice tool. You might be wondering why there's some tape on the end. Well, it's also a bug getter. So I don't like bugs. I don't like chasing bugs. I don't like smacking bugs. Um, so it's much easier to sneak up on them and go <laughs> and suck them up. And uh, I think it just kind of like instantly kills them. So there's no pain involved. Um, but this happened to be a hornet and he was still flying around. So we left some tape on there so he couldn't get out. And we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do with that. Brush attachment. Um, and this works well for dusting all the little um, countertops along the beds. We have these slanted walls and it works great for dusting. If you have a lot of flooring, uh, you'll want to get this hardwood floor attachment right here. The one that came with the machine didn't work real well. It would spit the stuff, you know, the little hard particles around. But this one really picks things up good. Uh, Dyson Victor 7 Motorhead is what it says there and works great. Then there's a handy storage that we mounted on the wall underneath the nav station and you just slide it up in there, click it down into place and it's stored out of the way and charging at the same time. So definitely got to get one of these. This is an unsponsored product endorsement from Off the Hook Sailing. Take care. Um, come here, honey. What? My husband likes it, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rotate. <laughs> Stupid Taydog. Hey, follow us on Off The Hook Sailing, and I think I'm supposed to ask you to like and subscribe, hit the bell or something like that. I really don't know.